Okay, let's delve more into this. I'm now joined by Niagale Bagayoko. She is the chair of the African Security Sector Network. Niagale, welcome to DW News Africa. What is at the root of this insurgency? Uh, in fact, I think it is very important to consider that there are different kinds of attacks, which means that you have also different kinds of insurgency. First, you have uh, attacks in the north of uh, Burkina Faso, in particular in the Sum region, at the very uh, top of the country. And uh, those uh, attacks are generally attributed to uh, groups called Ansarul Islam or Etat Islamique au Grand Sahara. And uh, uh, the last one, uh, Etat Islamique au Grand Sahara, uh, is uh, headed by a leader named uh, Al Sahrawi, who formerly was uh, fighting in Mali. So this is for the attacks in the north. Mm. Uh, as far as the east and yeah. the south of the country is concerned, the picture is uh, rather different. And uh, in fact, it seems that initially you had kinds of uh, criminal attacks in essence. But gradually, yeah. it seems that uh, jihadists have been yeah. able to connect with local communities. So it is different kind of, uh, I of see. Uh, insurgency. All right, so the, the, the terrorism has changed the lives of hundreds of thousands in the affected regions. Let's listen again to President Kabore. Hundreds of schools are closed. More than 100,000 children cannot go to school. It is a great challenge for us to reopen these schools so that the children can learn again. And the fact that children do not go to school, it is also a breeding ground for terrorism, for its reinforcement and its strengthening. Niagale, the former president had an agreement with the terrorists and there were fewer attacks in the country at the time. Is President Kabore himself uh, partly to blame for this latest insurgency? I think it is very difficult to prevent things in uh, this way. Uh, what happened, in fact, was that uh, President Kampaore, uh, the former president, used to welcome some uh, rebel leader groups, uh, some, leader, some leaders of uh, Mayan groups, and uh, in particular, Yad Al-Ghali, who is presently the leader of the so-called uh, group uh, the Soutien à l'Islam et aux Musulmans, who used to live in Ouagadougou for years. And uh, in fact, um, uh, Blaise Compaoré used to be the mediator in the crisis, yeah. in the Mayan crisis. Uh, but when he was hosted, however, a thing changed. But I don't think that uh, uh, President Cabaret is uh, himself uh, in case. Some people are, co are considering that uh, some attacks uh, are being uh, supported by partisans of President Cabaret. Uh, but in fact, what is targeted is the state himself and not the regime. Because as you can see, the attacks yeah. are against military, uh, or school teachers. And so it is a symbol of the state, which are... All right, yeah. Niagale, um, Burkina Faso is part of a, a regional counter-terror force. Uh, millions of euros have been promised to this group from the international community. So this looks like a lot of resources have been pumped into, into the effort of uh, counteracting this, or this, this insurgency. Why is it still growing as much as it is? What is very important is to understand what is the mandate of this regional force, which is called G5 Sahel. In fact, the joint force has uh, to intervene only uh, at the borders uh, of the five countries which are part of G5 Sahel. The five countries are Mauritania, uh, Mali, Niger, uh, Chad, and Burkina Faso. So this force is only entitled to make patrols around the, their common borders. And that is the reason why you have some uh, Christian groups who, who, which yeah. are uh, going to the east or to the southern part of the country to All allow right. meeting with this, uh, this force. So I don't think it's only a matter of resources. Yeah. Okay, Niagale, I'm going to have to cut you off there. Uh, that is Niagale Bagayoko. She is the chair of the African Security Sector Network. Thank you.